Good afternoon. We are so glad you're here. Your daily vlogs. If you like this video, I hope that you come back tomorrow. And tomorrow. Because we'll be and here. Tomorrow. And today, <laughs> we're trying something special and new to us. Okay, so before we get started at Hollywood Studios, we're gonna find some clips here from Peter's super productive morning. All right, Tyre. You and me today, mano y mano. Is that the way that saying goes? You're going down, you're getting fixed. All right, I am here at Tyre Kingdom. Dropped the car off, gonna check that out and see what's going on with it. Um, and there's a reason why I came to this one and it's near our old apartment, double reason. One, because we just got these tires like seven, eight months ago, I think. So I don't, I, I mean, I like the guys here, they do good work. So I like to keep giving them business but maybe, I don't know if these tires are under warranty, if there's even something to warrant on them. Um, but why not? They said it's an hour and a half, and that's a bit of a wait. That's before they can even look at it, I think. But the other reason, reason number two, I came over here is because about two and a half blocks down the road here is the barbershop I usually go to, and that's why, I don't know, the hat on, that's why I have no product. So I'm gonna see about getting my hair cut, which kind of works out that it's an hour and a half wait because it might be a wait because it's a Sunday at the barbershop and I don't have an appointment. So we shall see how this goes. Here I am at Kagan Crossing with Urban Styles right over here. This is where I get my hair cut, at least this one last time potentially. I may have to find a new place over in Winter Garden or Winter Park. Say goodbye to this really long map. I was trying to hold out for the wedding. I don't know if I'll get it done again before the wedding, but I need to get it done now. It's crazy long right now. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. So I was so surprised when I walked in because I like was bummed because the car was in the exact same spot. And I left it, I was like, oh, they haven't had a chance to look at it. I walk in and the guy who's always at the desk, or like near the desk when I bring this car, um, was like, Peter, you're all set. I was like, really? I was like, what was wrong with it? He's like, nail the tire. We took it out, don't worry about it. We got it, took care of it. Didn't even charge me. See, this is why I wanted to come back to Tire Kingdom. Now I gotta go grocery shopping. This literally turned my day around and it's, be I'll explain more later, because I did not run this morning. We'll explain it later, but this just turned my day around. That's awesome. This is what this looks like when you forget when your life is packed away. You just shove everything right there. We did like a, a smaller haul because we're moving Friday, out of, or Saturday, out of Katie's, and we have a busy week, so not the biggest haul. Just kind of like to get us through, plan some dinner, some lunches and stuff. I'm back eating a peanut butter sandwich. I think we're gonna go to studios before Katie gets off work and then we'll come back home for the shot and then see Katie and plan out the night. But wherever we're going here, the vlog will go back to our other camera with Sarah. Currently what we're doing. Guys, this is crazy. It's dark in Don't hate on me, but Alien Saucer Spin is only 10 minutes and I'm pumped to go on that after this. But this is only a 40 minute wait for smugglers and the land is just open status. Yeah. So this will be our first visit. This is so textured. Also, I have my procedure on Tuesday. So this could potentially be the last time I go on this for nine months. That Grand tiles. Avenue transit. Tiles into like underground construction tiles into just rock. That's so cool. Okay, first impressions. I'm digging the sounds. I, I hear Techno inspired bugs. But I want Star Wars music. Maybe the, but like, we're in the world. I guess the characters the don't hear Star Wars music. Right. Ooh, it looks like it crash landed a little bit. Very fancy. I'm like looking for hidden Mickeys. You're looking, you're looking for hidden Mickeys? Yeah. Little water station. How convenient. Biggest thing I like so far when it comes to Imagineering is you saw it, they did it in Pandora pretty well where they like did force perspective to a whole new level with the floating mountains but they really perfected here where they even like shaded mountains in the background that are probably only like a couple dozen yards back from these, but they changed the color and everything to make them look even further yeah, away. Like shadows. So it makes the place look way bigger. Yeah, my only request, plant some super tall trees so that from the outside you can't see them. Not the actual things itself, but just like the structures that make them. It's Sarah's pet peeve. It's like how you can still see the backside of Mount of Expedition Everest. Yeah. The only thing is with studios, it's supposed to be a studio, so it's like, okay, I get it, like, we're allowed to see it because it's supposed to be behind the scenes, but, but they're, studios they're getting is away getting from away that. from studios, yeah. so. Now this, now this, now this, now this is real good. 
the design over there, there's a pieces of a droid. Very, very cool. I like the wood next to technology, like old world, new world stuff. Who's cooking up some good old meat? There's turkey jerky, a wrap, a morning wrap. That's nice because there's like not a lot of breakfast in the And overnight oats. They got overnight oats? That looks suspiciously delicious. It has yogurt. This is such a cool like vista. This place just keeps on going and going and going. It's like way bigger than I expected. Whoa, what's happening? What are all those cats in here? Casual ray sighting. I know her and Chewie just walk around. Well, I saw Chewie like 10 minutes ago just walking that way and the troopers are going around so too. So cool. Millennium Falcon's about to freak out. They're already been make sure what, what is that? What is that? What is that? I'd be amazing. What a cool view. I think we're in the loading zone. We only waited about 35 minutes. Are you excited? Are you nervous? I know. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. The stress is real. We have assignments. We're both engineers, and I have to press buttons when it tells me to. I'm not me good at stuff like this. Me too. But you're good at this stuff. Look at this like free wave room. It's got Jimmy Fallon vibes where they're like calling colors. Yeah, we just gotta wait for purple to be called. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Now get the move on. Everyone you say yes. Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. They've locked on to us. Take evasive action. Gunch. All guns will be. Line up behind the train so we can half food that last car. Good job, my friend. Got to get out of here. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. That was crazy. I feel like we had the easiest job. We decided that soon we're gonna come and check out the bathrooms yeah. for sure. But we're gonna like come back and explore more. We don't have to do it all in one trip. I know there's some really good vegan treats we're gonna do. If you go this way, I think looks so. Looks like it. This looks like it is not it's the same huge. one. It's huge. This one might be. If this, this we might, might be, the be same. Toy Story Land. I don't know if they open up that one. I'm lost. I don't know. <laughs> also, we really enjoyed the ride. Yeah, it was so just like fun. It was really fun. It was really cool. But like, I maybe watched the out the like out of the ship, out the window. I only watched like thirty percent of the time because I was stressed about keeping. Oh yeah, right, right. Twice really. Keeping my keeping my eyes on my buttons. I was supposed to press because I didn't. But want you have such good up. peripheral vision. But I was nervous. But it was really. I like that. Like not all of ours were just buttons. They were, some of them were like switches, switches. And yeah, big buttons, cool. and little buttons. Oh, oh look at this little. This is the transition. It's really not so bad. You can only do so much with transition from outer space into Andy's backyard. Yeah. So I liked it. I was worried about this transition, but that was- It's great. That lasso's cereal with Jesse is so yeah. cute. Saucers is up to 35. So this actually closes early, like seven o'clock early. Maybe even six, no, I think it's seven. It feels so good to be back in here. It's been yeah. so long. Yeah. I always worry that they would close this and I was nervous when they closed it to change it from Officially One Man's Dream to whatever Walt Disney, Walt Disney, Disney presents, featuring One Man's Dream at the end, yeah. but I love this. Yeah. Oh, how I wish we vlogged back when we went to Marceline, Missouri. We filmed. Did we, when did we, where's that footage though? We had this, I got Peter this little like recorder thing for Christmas that year and I had never, like, we didn't even have a channel, we just like wanted to start recording. So here's the main street and I'm fairly certain that the theater's like middle of the street over there. The theater is the last theater that they presented. Walton himself presented a Mickey short, and we stayed at the bed and breakfast attached to it, and we got to go up in the projector room. Yeah, it was really so cool. cool. Look at this beauty right here. Five, We're getting the five-minute warning. Is. Thank you. I will say, and I think I always say this, but we don't come in here often. Walking through here does make me want to work for this company almost every time. But there's a time and a place for these things, and right now is not the time and place.
Everything in this room may change time and time again as we move ahead. But the basic philosophy of what we're planning for Disney World is going to remain very much as it is right now. One man's dream is always worth it. That'll put you in the Disney magic feeling. It'll fill your soul with all the joy and magic and hope there is in the world. So. I'm gonna head into Rock and Roller Coaster. So that means you did Rock and Roller Coaster and Smugglers. Yeah. Um, did you get motion sickness from Smugglers? No. Like, did you? I think my stomach's a little upset. I think I was too concerned about the buttons. Yeah. I like, I get bad on Star Tours, so I wasn't so sure. So did I. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, we got company. Wow. All right. Two people. Hey, don't mind us. We'll be finished in just a minute. Hey, hey, hey. What's hey, hey. What are you guys still doing here? You were supposed to be at a show. All right, super, 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 super fun ride. But I also started getting a headache when we were leaving Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, yeah, and no, that like rattled my brain. Yeah, like in I, the second row, it was very... I felt like my well. neck, like my spinal column got disconnected from my brain. So like at the end of it, I literally during moments of it, like we're closing my eyes like, oh my God, this hurts so bad. But it was still fun, still fun. Sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in getting some AC on the way out in the shop. The newly open one, but look at these shirts. I think we need all of them. They're so cute. Okay, so we are at Publix. We're gonna try this vegan feta. He doesn't like regular feta. I don't like regular feta though, and I don't like fake vegan cheese. And have me try fake vegan feta. Okay, so if you don't happen to follow Katie on Instagram, um, she gave a little bit of an update on her story. I kind of mentioned it last night about unex something unexpected happening. Um, and basically last night we came home to Bloody Stool. And at first we didn't know which dog it was from, but we quickly realized that it was Padme. And so they went to the emergency vet last night. And she's on medications, she's okay, but things are still just not like back to normal yet. Um, so I think we'll probably end up staying home tonight. But, did you get kombucha? Yeah. So, one of Katie's favorite things from Food & Wine last year was the Greek nachos, and they were vegetarian. Um, and so I found a recipe online to make them vegan, slash, we'll, we'll, we're gonna get her real feta cheese. Um, so we're probably just gonna stay home, see how Padme's doing, and hopefully food will make her feel better. We're home. Sarah's cooking up a food and wine storm because they're shysting us and not giving us Greek tachos this year. Tachos? Greek nachos this year. And Katie and I have gotten started on something that many people in the world love and people have told us before that we would love. The Great British Baking Show! Oh, that Hi looks everybody. Good. I asked Sarah if maybe I'll go maybe I'll go non-vegan eventually just for baking reasons. Because I love a good fresh bread. I love the good baked sweet treat. But I don't know. Yeah. She's, she's home for now. Together. She'll she's be back resting. at the vet tomorrow for the day. But she's but she's exhausted. Oh, yeah. that sweet hand. We all are. <laughs> and Aurora's highly concerned. We're happy to be together, though. Yeah. Wait, okay, so I've portioned out three bits of the vegan crumbles that we're gonna each put in our salads, like taco salad. So the base is this pita chips. Then we have tomatoes, onions, and shredded lettuce to top. That's my vegan. Feta, the normal feta. Peter likes olives, but we aren't olive fans. And then this vegan tzatziki sauce that basically is made from like vegan ranch and salt and pepper if you want it. I totally forgot to show the final results of our salads, but I think Peter took a picture of one, so I'm gonna put it in. Here. <laughs> yeah, they lasted it was really good. Seconds. We all have really bad onion breath, but <laughs> worth it. So now we're gonna make cookies. It tastes kind of plasticky. I think it's the coconut oil slash vanilla. We decided to just make a pan cookie. <laughs> it looks really silly with our fingerprints all through it. Um, this was not delicious. 
but worth baking still. Um, we think that had we used refined coconut oil, it wouldn't have had that taste. Um, so I'll still link the recipe below, but warning. It's not the Ann's recipe, I think I was like, cause the lady said to like. Yeah, to use refined, or maybe a different kind of oil or something, but just wasn't a hit. Wow. Oh, it's on? Yeah. Are we live? Yeah. <laughs> Eddie's back. Are we Hi, Peter, Meet Travis. Viewers. Where were you, Eddie? It's been literally what? Like, I don't even know in the last vlog. Probably the run that we did in January. Oh my January. gosh. Probably. We're, We're watching all the focus. Me and Andy are going head to head to know who who yes. knows the most words. This, you can catch okay. me up in my room in the next 10 minutes. Yeah. This movie and, and Mean Girls are like my top two. Like, I can... Do the entire like screenplay. Do the line. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is this in Hercules. Since we watched Hocus Pocus, the two nightly daily messages you're receiving are by spooky camp light. So the seventh was yes. Oh, low, little better. We gotta do this quick. Ultimately, whatever is in your reality is your responsibility. Nisande and Nita, and the eighth, be like a tree and let the dead leaves drop. Rumi. I love both of those and both kind of like weird, but. Very good messages about living your life. Battery's about to die. Thank you so much. Go back to work. We Transfer never Tuesday. Talked, did we ever talk about what you said earlier we were going to talk about? No. Basically, woke up late. 20 miles was not the priority. Sometimes it was real hot today. Just got to prioritize your haircut, well-being. cars, groceries. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. 